What's up, guys? It's been busy for me the last week. I've written two sets of wedding vows for the two couples who are celebrating their first anniversary soon. How sweet is that? And I'm so happy to see people are getting back in action since the COVID-19 home isolation started. The restrictions here in Melbourne haven't been fully lifted yet. I'm so missing eating out in restaurants. Anyway, hope this crisis will be over soon. So, how did you guys go with the second sentiment, beautiful, which we have done in the last episode? Here are some practice from one of my subscribers. Aren't they beautiful? Send me yours if you want to share or to inspire others. By the way, it's in here here if you watch this channel for the first time. I've started a series three weeks ago showing people how to write the alphabet, all 26 letters in pen calligraphy by writing 26 sentiments or words. So you won't get bored by writing just the letters on their own, again and again. We have done the sentiments amazing and beautiful in the previous episodes. It would be better for you to check them out before watching this episode. Today, we are going to write congratulations. It's quite a long word, but we have already done many of the letters in the previous episodes. I'll skip those until later in the video and demonstrate them again all in one go. Well, let's sink into it. The first letter is capital C. This letter needs to be done in one stroke. It starts with an entrance stroke like a horizontal oval like this. Come down, draw another vertical oval, and then make a turn when it goes above the headline. I know, this is a bit hard to get the shape right. I'll show you once again without filling up the ink into the nib so you can see more clearly when and where the pressure needs to be applied and released. If you still find it hard on how the stroke should go, you can first draw two ovals like in here, and then trace them to achieve the shape of the ovals nicely. You should see three ovals in the capital C. One, two, and three. Lowercase o. Begins with the entrance stroke to the two-thirds of the X height. The second stroke starts just a bit under the headline. Finally, finish it with a special exit stroke starts at the joint of the oval. I heard people call this stroke an eyelid stroke, and it does look like an eyelid with an eyelash. Have a look when you finish. The oval should be bisected by the slant. And if you extend the exit stroke like this, it should form another oval like in here. Lowercase r Begins with the entrance stroke goes above the headline. Add a shade by tracing it down. Continue with the stroke similar to an underturn like this. Lowercase s Same as lowercase r. An entrance stroke goes above the headline. Add a shade by tracing it down. Continue with the stroke like an upside down C. Add pressure to create a dot here on the entrance stroke and finish with an exit stroke. Now, let me demonstrate the rest of the lower cases we have already gone through in the previous episodes which are N, G, A, T, U, L, and I.
Now comes the fun part. I'll draw the letters without having the nib fully filled up with the ink. So you can see clearly how each so is executed. Let's do it again with the nib fully loaded. congratulations in my style and you can try to write in your own style with the skill you have learned done three capitals and many of the lower cases and three beautiful words that you can use for writing your own cards to your friends and families in calligraphy 
In next video, I'll show you how to write deletions. In this word, you will be able to learn capital D and a new lowercase c. Please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be chill.